Movement Tuesdays. Yeah. yeah. That was an excellent video by Crud. I liked it. It was good. Do, Do you, you want to touch? touch? Remixed by me, myself, yeah. and I. <laughs> we got one heck of a show still. We got Sarah here. We got the Concrete <laughs> Brothers. <laughs> Yes. From the yoga shelter, which is a, a chain. It's a chain of yoga shelters. Yeah, shelters. yeah. We have five <laughs> studios yeah. in Metro Detroit, and I teach at four of them. So nice. driving around town, spreading the love. Spreading day. the yoga love. Spreading the, the yoga love. love. Mm -hmm. Now I have never really done yoga, so that like as, me. I know. So as a new yoga like inquiring person mm -hmm. what would you tell me about yoga and you know the benefits and like how cool it is right well the great thing about yoga is everybody can do it yeah you know and it really just takes a little bit of an open mind and just a little courage you know to try something outside of the box so the one thing i think of though when i think of like yoga i think of like how people meditate and stuff like that mm -hmm. and i'm so like add that I, like, I just don't think I can meditate. Right, it's hard to do by yourself. That's why I love <laughs> teaching yoga classes. And at Yoga Shelter, uh, I'm playing rock and roll music. I'm okay. inspiring you. I'm telling you what to do. I'm reminding you to breathe. I'm reminding you to not really attach to those thoughts. You know, right. that drive us all the way off our mats, you know. I would like that, yeah. to music and stuff like that. Yeah. Like yeah, Cause yeah, cool. I always think like they want you to meditate and you're on a mountain and you're like, right. and you don't think of anything in your mind and it's Still like, I have never meditated so I would just feel like it wouldn't work for me, yeah. but I don't think that I can be, um, what are they, hypnotized either? Like, yeah, I can't be hypnotized either. I don't know yeah. if I can, but I don't think I can. Yeah. I don't I'd I have can. to try that one yeah. day and see. Uh, I think yeah. I'm too scared. They would like yeah. talk me into Well, there's no, the there's no hypnotizing okay, happening good. at the yoga shelter. <laughs> and, um, we really just make sure that everyone is safe and, um, you know, our classes are for all levels. Okay. There's, uh, we do yoga one-on-ones twice a month, which is a free 90-minute workshop for people that are new to yoga. So we okay. talk about the breath, which is the foundation of our practice, okay. and how to develop that and the benefits of that. It's like the breathing deep mm -hmm. and stuff. And yes. Okay. Yeah, it's a deeper, more controlled breathing yeah. all the time, which is really nice. Um, we also break down some of the basic poses, talk about philosophy, and um, yeah, the one I'm doing on February 5th, we're going over flexibility and how to become flexible and what are the benefits of that. So you, if you were to explain what exactly yoga is to somebody who had no idea, how would you exactly explain that to that person? I would say a lot of it's... Levels to it. Yeah, I mean, there are, of course, just different levels, like in everything. But I would explain to them is it's a way to get to know yourself physically and mentally through movements and breathing. What if I don't want to know myself? Um, well then... I uh, know <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm I don't know what to tell you. Just keep staring at the boob tube. I don't know. I'm just joking. So is it... It's more... I, say, I, think it's I don't even want to know. What if I right? like get deep into myself and I realize that I'm like the devil or something? But like... No, it's not for me. I don't know. So but yoga's like, for right? everybody. Right. <laughs> so. No, so it's, it's a mind thing along with exercising. Yeah, body, body, mind, and spirit. Um, yeah. I like to say it's not just a workout, but a work in. Oh, I like that. that. Yeah, we missed your detox the other day. We could have probably oh, used yeah. it after our birthday party. Yeah, like, yeah. We stunk like a lot of gin and beer, so. Yeah. So now when you do something like that, it's meant for people who were like partying the, the night before, and it's like just a chill thing? Um, the yoga 101? No, the, the, the detox, detox oh, thing. Oh, a detox. Oh, I just yeah. did a yoga 101 that talked about poses that detox the body, like oh, twisting okay. poses. Because I would think, pose. when I think detox, I think, shh, I was that wasted last night. I need to just go to detox. <laughs> right, right. Now I'm about to go to this yoga class. It's called yoga detox and shit. Right. Yeah, That's detox to retox. Right. right. Yeah. You know? So what is it now? What is it? Explain a little bit about that now. It helps to revive your body. What if you're sure. Doing? I mean, anytime you're breathing deeply and moving, you're going to be detoxifying the body through the breath, through your sweat, and just, you know, burning up that fat from exercise. Do you have any routine. weird stories? Like... Like when you were teaching a class and anybody like fart really loud. <laughs> yeah, and multiple times I had farted in class. Oh, yeah. You just had to yeah. do the chime after I said that. Yes, yeah. so and there is a pose called breaking wind pose. I'll bet. Oh yeah. yeah Does it make everybody in the class just go? Well yeah, I mean literally because sometimes you have your stomach up and your ass in the air and right? it's like, yeah, it just kind of goes. Oh but yeah. But that's acceptable. And I mean, nobody guys, really. I think I was dead. Yeah, I mean, no one says anything about it. Like, what are you gonna do? Like, laugh? Like, that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. 
So yeah, it's a very open environment, right. okay. judgment-free zone. Right. Take what you need, leave the rest. Right. Um, you know, mm -hmm. we just really want everyone to feel safe and be able to express themselves through cool. this practice. You know, and it's not. We talk about all kinds of great inspirational things. You know. Uh, um, attachment and positivity and loving ourselves. So it's like therapy as well. Yeah, it's like yeah, a therapy. A bit, yeah. Yes, yeah. A so bit. you're like a counselor too. You know? Yeah, it's, it it's really, nice. it's really a cool thing. I get to <laughs> share and you know. Help now, people. were you always involved with yoga or did you? Uh, no, I just got involved with it probably about three or four years ago. Yeah, and I just you fell in like love with it. it. Yeah, I was just like, man. It. It's cool. Yeah, just being a dancer and an entertainer and a bartender my whole life, all those things just prepared me for what I do now. And it's, wow. it's been really That's awesome. awesome. Yeah. So you're all yeah. about, uh, you have, uh, you bounce around with different gigs. How can people kind of find out where mm -hmm. you're at? Because you're at different venues. Um, well, I'm mostly at the Yoga Shelter. So we can go to yogashelter.com and okay. look at our schedule and see me there. I also teach children's yoga at Boring Yoga in Birmingham. Okay. And uh, that's really cool. Yoga cool. for little, little tots. So that's kind of fun. That sounds cool. Are yeah. they... Um, do they get into it or are they kind of doing their own thing? Well, like, when they're really know? young, you yeah. really just kind of convert it into games with yoga yeah, poses yeah. and stuff. So you just really have to cater to your audience. That's funny. When young my son was five, I got him into uh, karate. <laughs> 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 he literally got kicked out of karate in two weeks because yeah. they're like, he just does his right. own thing. Yeah. Like he does it. It's like a picture of like putting a little kid in yoga. Mm -hmm. As long as you give them some freedom, they might be able to do it. Yeah, it's definitely, uh, <laughs> you know. An entertainment act. Oh, that's so cool. cute. Yeah. That is yeah. so cute. So uh, maybe you guys want to do a little yoga? Yeah, well, let's, maybe we're going to hit the mats here. Yeah. We'll do a little yoga yeah. right now with uh, Sarah. Why yes, not? And we got the Kung Fu yeah. Brothers yeah. coming up yeah. here. Yeah. Oh, our yeah. show. Yogini. Yes. Yogini. Teach me yoga. It's going to be Kelly Genie the Yogini. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to say. All right. I'm going to say. It's Sarah Whitman. Chaturanga. Inhale for your back bend. And then downward facing dog. Taking a little twist. Ooh. And then it stretches so good. Yeah. Little side body. And all my muscles are really super active and connected. From here we're going to lift the right leg up. Open up a little bit. Take a little twist. Wow. And step your right foot up. Warrior pose, so really nice deep lunge. Thighs drawing together, belly drawing in, arms up. Nice. Yeah. We want to go further. Bring hands together. Really trying to find your balance. Nice. Right down. <laughs> open up, warrior two. This opens up the hips. Helps with balance. Getting to know your body, trusting yourself. Okay. 
dead by the time I start. Not being afraid right. to fall over. Yeah. Not being afraid to find a little balance on your mat. Ha, ha, ha. 